Okay, let's move on to the topic, relations and directive graph. So, what is relations? So, it's about uh, two things and they, they are connected. So, web A and B and the or binary relation from A to B is a subset of A cross B. Uh, so uh, this is a Cartesian product. We have seen this in uh, SAT. So this is the definition. So A, the small a comes from a, uh, capital A, uh, small b comes from capital B. We can make this pair, the pair A to B. Is a binary relation, so we can consider that in simple way in the same set. So we will have a. There is some value a one, uh, the element of a uh, a two, that can make a relation like this. So, so we have seen many relations. Uh, usually binary operators and uh, in the uh, any kind of set. So here we have rational number set, uh, rational number set, the string set, and the power of u for the universal set u. So this is uh, an equality uh, operator that's uh, greater than or equal to. So we can make we can get these two number from natural number x is greater than or equal to y and that's the relation we have two parts and there is something uh, something uh, compare those two and find uh, the inequality between those them, uh, those so there is another one um, in rational or we can make uh, this rest less than also available x is less than y. That's simple. And another one is equal x equal y. That means they are same. And this is a subset subset of this uh, power set of u. We can get any kind of uh, subset inside of this. So another relations we have the here. Uh, relation one is very simple. We have A, B, C, and one, two, three. We know this pair start there. A to one, A to two again, uh, B to one, and B to three, three to uh, C to three. So this, this is the relation. And relation two is about uh, congruence. Uh, X and Y is congruence with this model of five. This is uh, X is uh, congruence with uh, Y model of five. So that means uh, their the remainder will be same by this uh, model of five. So, for example. One is one remainder is one, and uh, the, uh, maybe we can think about another thing like six or eleven, uh, sixteen. Yeah, there will be congruence by this uh, modulus. So that's why we can say uh, x is one and uh, y is six, or uh, uh, maybe opposite also available in this case. Uh, three is a uh, really different. This is a single match. C one is prerequisite value. C two is simple. Uh, last one. Uh, there is two things: student and course. Student S have taken course C, so that's why we have student and course C. Student take have taken course C, so course cannot taken the student. So 
let's look at other uh, thing. Uh, we uh, there is uh, four properties of uh, relation that are their relation on set A. R is reflective if only if a pair of A and A in R for every A in a capital A. So that means so same element uh, provide a same uh, relation. Maybe some relation with equal sign or it doesn't matter with uh, order is fine. And symmetric is uh, interesting. Uh, if only if a, a pair A and B in R implies uh, pair B and A in R. So if you change the first and second, it doesn't matter. So anti symmetric is totally different from symmetric. That means if only if a pair A and B in R and A and B are not same, it implies B, uh, a pair B and A is not in R. So that means uh, change the uh, position is not available. So transitive, uh, if only if a, if a pair A and B in R and another pair of B and C in R implies A and C. So it gives you some connection between uh, your, um, your element in your relation. So let's look at this, uh, which relation have which properties and so we have a uh, reflective symmetric, uh, anti symmetric, and transitive. Uh, so here we have uh, any core design, the core sign, and self set, and two relation. So let's look at the answer. So here, this one about uh, greater than equal. So because you have equal sign, the flat sleeve is available. But this uh, the greater sign, we cannot change the A and B. So that's why it is uh, anti symmetric. But anyway, if the number is uh, in order, we can use another number after that. So we can provide a transitive. The pre uh, next one will be similar, but it doesn't have um, equal sign. So that's why we don't have uh, reflexive for that. The next one is about equal sign on a string set. So yeah, equal sign definitely reflexive uh, is available. Uh, equal sign support uh, symmetric and uh, transitive is definitely available. The last one is subset. Uh, subset uh, uh, include the set itself. That's why equal is available, reflexive. Uh, but subset cannot include its superset. That's why it is anti symmetric. But self set had another service inside of this. So it is uh, transitive. The next one, uh, R2, is about congruence. congruence. And yeah, so it is re uh, basically related to the equivalence between those two. Anyway, those two, X and Y, has same remainder. That means the order is not uh, a matter. So it is reflective. Because of that, uh, that's definitely symmetry. Transitive also available. The last one is about the relation between 
C1 and C2. C1 is prerequisite of C2. Always, this is one direction from C to C, C from C1 to C2. That means it is anti-symmetric, um, and we don't know there is any other thing inside of this rule, so we cannot say about this uh, transitive and depressive. Depressive definition is not true. All right. So, so when you have multiple variation, how can we combine them? So here we have R and S. They are relation. So R is about uh, A to B. S is B to C. So we can combine them together with composition of R and S. That can be written in S circle R. So it's about A to C relation. So if you have S circle R, that means there is uh, a pair A and C. So there is just a variable uh, character or any anything B such that A and B pair in this R relation and there will be another pair B and C in S. So that's why we can connect them together with B. So, so we have this A to C relation. So intuitively, a pair is in the composition if there is a connection from the first to second. So if there is a common variable inside of that, we can connect them together. So here is an example. We have a parent relation. We have sister relation. So A, B, and parent, if only if B is a parent of A, uh, A, B is in, uh, in sister relation, if only if B is the sister of A. So when you combine a uh, sister and parent together uh, in both way, the sister first, uh, parent first, anyway, uh, this is about parent, yeah, this is about uh, parent, uh, sister or parent. You can simply say this. This is about sister or parent, parent of sister. Uh, that should be simple. So anyway, so we have A and B and C. So here would be A, B. This is B, C. So in this case, we have X and Y. So that means B will be B, uh, A is X, C is Y. So Y is sister or parent, and X. Next one is also similar, uh, B, Y. X, B, so Y is a parent of sister, that means a parent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look at other examples. We can make uh, this relation using those uh, things. So, anchor is B is an anchor of A. So, anchor is a uh, brother of parent. Cousin is quite complex. It has a multiple relation. Cousin is child of 
Ah, not brother, sibling of parent. Okay. So we can combine this kind of relation together and to make a, uh, another relation that may be, it may use everything and then use a path between those uh, relations. So we can describe this kind of relation using a directed graph. And there are another thing about the powers of relation. So we can define this uh, combination, uh, composition of this uh, relation. So we can try that in a single relation like here. Uh, R square is composition and single relation R. So a and, a and B and B and C are in same relation. We can find uh, some connection in the relation. We can make a new relation using them. So anyway, uh, if you have zero power at zero uh, explanation, uh, that means uh, um, the equality relation on the relation A. So here we have A and A. So that A in the small A in the capital A and they are same. So if uh, the power is one, that means the relation itself. We can try uh, multiple powers like this, n plus 1 is uh, I to the n, uh, circle r. So this is like the simple arithmetic. We can combine them together with these rules. And we can define this uh, relation uh, using matrix. Uh, and also, we can define a graph using this matrix. So, there are some element one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. If there is the relation between those elements, we can connect them together. Uh, we can define that with these pairs, one, one. So when you have this relation, we can put this one in the matrix. If there is a zero, there's no relation. So one, one is available, one, two, and uh, one, four, two, one here, two, three here, three, three, uh, three, two, and three, three, and four, two, and four, three here. So, so we can make this uh, matrix to define this relation. So, I said we can uh, use a graph to describe the relations. So graph has vertex and edges. Vertex are this uh, node here. Um, so vertex will be an element in, in that. And we can connect them together with edge. That will be relation. So uh, in the previous slide, we have seen combination of the relations. So we have simple relation and maybe we can connect them together that also another relation. So so that could be a path like this. So we have this relation. So we have we connected as uh, multiple relation in this graph and make one path that is uh, another relation. And this kind of path has uh, three different types, simple path and cycle and simple cycle. So simple path doesn't have any repeated, repeated node inside of this, like here. So we can start from this to this, and again, another, and then get to the last one. So 
there's no reputation. We um, visited um, the nodes in this path just once. So that's why this is a simple path. Uh, cycle, it doesn't matter any reputation in the um, path, uh, but it only requires this start and end should be same. So here, we can start from here, there, and again, again, go to that, here, here, here. So there are many reputations, uh, but the starting point and end point are the same. Uh, that, and, and this one has two cycles here and there. Anyway, this is cycle. And simple side only has a single cycle inside of this. So that's why there is no only duplicate node is the starting and end. So and there is no repeated budgeting inside of that. So starting point and next other other and going back to start only starting node uh, budgeted twice and others just once. So how to make how to represent uh, the relation using this directed graph diagram. So here we have the pairs and we can make this graph to describe uh, relations. The first A B and A A and B A C A C D C E D E. So we can describe uh, that relation using this uh, directed graph, and this is very useful. Okay. So how to uh, apply composition using diagram? So we have two relation here, S and R. And if we write down the relation using graph on website, the so first we can have two two and two three with uh, orange color three one yeah so we have described relation as and how about the R one two two one and one three so well, we need to find the paths from R and there will be some common element down to the S. So let's start. One, two. So we have one, two here. And let's looking at S, two, two, maybe here. That means this is this. And another two here, two, three. So this is starting from one, but end point is three. We can write over here. Okay, so we have done about two. And now we have two, one. We can start from two. Let's go to one first. And let's looking at the one in here, nothing. We cannot move. We cannot use that. So last one, one three, and three over there is three one. So we can start uh, one and go to three first, then go back to one. So it is about B 
this cell float. Okay. So we're going to uh, practice uh, coding to describe this kind of combination using graph. Okay, this is end of our uh, topic today. Uh, let's move on to uh, coding session.